Thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series highlighting key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emerging geographies and much more. I am Dennis Marcel, senior research analyst with the Industrial Research team and I will be talking about the analysis of lighting controls market globally. The increasing global demand on energy is a cause of concern for several utilities which makes even the slightest opportunity to reduce the energy demand worth exploring. Lighting consumes approximately 8 to 10% of the total electricity consumption and regulations focused on lighting have helped reduce the energy used for illumination. Lighting controls are products or software that is used to control the luminous intensity or the brightness levels of a light source. They can also sense occupancy and movement and control the light source. Multiple light sources can be controlled by remote monitoring through light management softwares. The research focuses on lighting control products like sensors, controllers and user interfaces along with the application areas in which the products are installed. The proliferation of LED lights has reduced the burden on energy consumed by lighting. LEDs coupled with lighting controls offer higher potential energy savings. Lighting controls is expected to offer 47% more energy savings when combined with energy efficient light sources like LEDs. A major hindrance to the growth of lighting controls market is the lack of awareness among consumers on these savings. Energy efficiency regulations that enable the uptake of LEDs by phasing out halogens can be the answer to the growth of lighting controls market. Based on our research, the North American region is the largest market for lighting controls in the world, followed by Europe. Strong building codes and stringent regulations have led to the widespread adoption of lighting controls in North America. However, the APAC region, driven by the increased adoption of lighting control systems across various industrial sectors, is considered an emerging high growth market. The research also looks at growth opportunities like interoperable control systems. Adhering to open protocols and standards will ensure interoperability of lighting control products and make systems more scalable. Additionally, technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence will reduce human interference in lighting control operations and help in predictive maintenance, optimal use of light sources, integration with other building systems and adaptability to building and external climatic conditions. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost & Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at frost.com. Thank you for your time.